Alrighty, Dolores. So while I was cleaning, I did notice a few things that I'd like to discuss with you, if that's all right. So you did have a bit of plaque in between the teeth. Plaque is just this film of bacteria that everybody accumulates throughout their day. You had a plaque score of 55%. That just means that 55% of your tooth surface had plaque on them. We'd like to keep this number as low as possible, which you can do with just effective and consistent tooth brushing and flossing. Along with the plaque, I did notice that you have some gingivitis. Gingivitis is a reversible gum disease. Uh, just means that you have infected, inflamed gums. It can cause some sensitivity. Um, plaque can cause this. Also, I noticed some calculus below your gums. Calculus is like a hardened plaque that can also irritate the gums and cause gingivitis. Um, since gingivitis is reversible, uh, you can um, you can effectively uh, cure this with good oral hygiene, uh, brushing and flossing. Um, if, it, it, if it does progress, it can turn into periodontitis, uh, which is irreversible gum disease, leading to bone loss and a whole bunch of things that we don't want. So with this information, I'd love um, if you could just go through your um, daily oral hygiene routine with me. Um, and then maybe along the way I can give you some tips. Um, well, you know, I, I do brush usually twice a day. Uh, sometimes I'll forget in the morning if, if I, uh, cause I, if I get, have a cup of coffee. Um, uh, but other than that, like, I am concerned, like, you know, before how I said I was concerned with, sometimes I have bad breath, so I'll use some mouthwash then, but, um, yeah, um. Uh, that's what I've done my whole life. Well, Dolores, I'm glad to hear you're brushing your teeth twice a day. Um, do you know how long you're brushing for? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I think it's different every day, but uh, probably, probably about a minute. Yeah, so the recommended amount of time is two minutes uh, minimum for brushing your teeth. Um, that's twice a day. So usually what I like to do is 30 seconds per quadrant, so 30 seconds upper right, upper left, lower left, lower right. I really love using an electric toothbrush because it has a timer on it. Most of them do. Um, if you're interested, I'd love to show you. Um, so this is like similar to the electric toothbrush I use. It uh, buzzes once after the 30 seconds, so then you go to the next quadrant. And then it does that after the fourth quadrant, it will, um, it'll turn off. So then you know it's been two minutes. And I really recommend a soft um, bristle brush that um, will be um, gentle on your gums. And I also wanted to ask if you incorporate any flossing in your routine. Uh, no, I don't floss. I know, I hear I should, but usually if I just have something stuck in my teeth, I'll get a toothpick. That's about it. All right, Dolores, well, I really can't stress enough how important it is to floss. So I understand getting that piece out that's bothering you with a toothpick, but when we're not flossing daily, we're leaving behind the stuff you can't really feel, but you it's there, the plaque that's there that can cause issues, that can turn into calculus, that can cause cavities. We wanna get that out um, every day, at least once. Um, so I have a type of knot here. I'd love to show you um, just how to use the regular floss. Um, it's really important to be doing it right too so that it's effective. So um, you'll just want to take a piece of floss about an arm's length, um, wrap it around your fingers, and you want to uh, take it so that it's like a C shape around the tooth. You want to, you see that? You want to get this um, surface of the tooth and the next one. And then you can pull up. You wanna do that along C shape a few times, up and down, and then the other side and up. And every single time you switch in between, you just wanna wrap the string so you can have a new surface of string. That way um, you're not transferring bacteria to another um, in between teeth. Like that. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah, 
So not too bad. And this takes about maybe two minutes of your day if you want. Like, great to just sit on the couch um, while you're watching TV um, to floss. Um, you just want to make sure that you're wrapping around the tooth and you're not just going in and out because that's not getting all that plaque. So I think if we implement the two-minute brushing and the flossing, that will really help with the plaque score and um, just the accumulation of calculus causing that irritating gingivitis. I think that um, that could really work for you. And um, I know you were saying that you were concerned about bad breath. So floss, that is great. That's gonna cut down a lot of that bad breath. Uh, I could recommend one more product to you for that concern of yours. Um, very, not too expensive and um, very inexpensive and effective. Uh, we harbor a lot of bacteria on our tongues. So this is a tongue scraper. Um, very easy, just gently um, stick out your tongue, scrape down, and then I wash it off in the sink really good. I'll put it back in its case just so um, it stays clean. And then I like to boil mine to um, keep it clean, but you can also um, get some like disposable ones as well. Uh, that will really help the bad breath you were concerned about earlier. So. Um, yeah, do you have any questions for me? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. Uh, no, I'm very excited to, uh, add, add those into my routine. I think, I think you're right. I think that, that that might be, like, the missing, missing piece of this bad breath conundrum I've been having. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Um, so I'll give you this goodie bag for you. It has a soft bristle toothbrush as well as some floss and then I can walk you up to the front to schedule your six month recall.